during etching, you may need to look at your sample surface under a microscope to make sure that it isn't under etched or over etched. And after you've etched, you may also want to take pictures of your sample surface. You should use the VersaMet 2 for this. We sign in first, raise the stage all the way up, and <coughs> choose a stage insert with an opening that will show as much of your sample as possible, but not so large that your specimen falls through. And you place this concave side down on the stage. And you position your sample on top of that and secure it. You should change the objective lens to the 5x. and lower the stage so that your sample surface is as close as possible to the 5x objective lens without ramming the stage or the sample into the objective lens. Turn the power on and position your specimen so that the light is shining on it using these controls. While looking through the eyepiece, you should adjust the coarse focus knob and move your sample surface away from the objective lens while focusing. And you can adjust the fine focus knob to further make the image more distinct. Once you've done this, if you need to switch to higher magnification, you switch to the 10x next, and when you switch to the 10x object lens, while looking through the eyepiece, you can focus using the fine focus knob. And if you need to look at it under higher magnification, you switch to the 20x object lens and focus with the fine, fo fine focus knob only. If you want to take a picture of your sample surface, you open the software here on this computer. It's a Pixelink Capture software. You pull out a knob here that's labeled on the side of the optical microscope, and you turn on the exposure box. Ah! <laughs> and you should also open the shutter. This image is blurry. You can fix that by adjusting the fine focus knob while looking at the computer screen. When you're satisfied with this image, you can choose Save As and tell the software where you would like to save your file. And click Snapshot so that it will actually save the image to that file.